Many of us can be self-critical of ourselves because we want to do our best. But do you often find yourself focusing on your flaws and failures? Then you could be battling low self-esteem. Today's My Empowerment series will inspire you to overcome low self-esteem and become empowered, just like Reverend Temple Hayes. Good morning, Temple. So nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I Thank love you. talking about self-esteem. I, I, I even love analyzing people that I meet. And the first thing I always wonder, and this is one question right now, <laughs> is it nature or nurture? It's nature. You're born with it. You're totally born with self-esteem, absolutely. So yes. if you have it, you have it. If you don't, you're nurtured and validated, and then you get it through the ways you can. <laughs> Which brings your life into this picture now. You are a successful motivational speaker, I read here, yes. with a growing ministry that serves thousands upon thousands of people. You empower women, and you empower others as well. But yet, you started off your life, your childhood, with low self-esteem. And I'm amazed, because you certainly don't play the part. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I want to get the message out in life and I have lived through it because in the early days of my life I was brought up in a deep rooted Southern Baptist community. I was very different spiritually from my family and the people that I knew. I felt different about God and everything else. Like the black sheep? Yeah, I was totally the black sheep. And then in addition to that, um, the first love of my life, which is an exciting time for all families, is that my relationship was with a woman when I was 14. And so I guess you've already figured out that no one was really happy for me, huh? I, no, I'm trying to figure out how right. you dealt with the fact that probably everybody was not going to be on your side. It was very difficult. It's very difficult because I was a popular girl. Right. I was an overachiever. I was a great athlete and all those things, but yet I had this shadow life. So I drank. Mm. I succumbed to alcohol. So what, what led you then to say, okay... I need to do something. I need to change my self-esteem and the way I feel about myself. I remembered what I wrote when I was 14 and a half. Today I have found me. I don't like what I see and you don't either, but I must be me in order to become the person that I'm supposed to be. And I drew from the words of Ogmandino that says, God, my life is your gift to me, and what I do with my life is my gift to you. So I just knew that God had given me a life and that I was supposed to be amazing, not ordinary. And so I just stayed open and prayed to discover more people like me, the mirror, you know? And when you mentioned the mirror, I. I I was always raised, my mom always telling me, look in the mirror mm -hmm. and love what you see. Yes. And you did not like what you see, but you learned to love yourself then. I learned to love myself. And by the way, you, you're amazing. Oh, no, no. You're more amazing. You are really an inspiration for me. Now, let's talk about someone maybe out there who doesn't have that self-esteem that says, well, you know, okay, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm getting it. I, I believe her. Oh, yeah. So, Temple, how can they start transforming themselves? There's a lot of people out there like that. First thing you can do is start every day writing 50 things you love about yourself. You know, when I first did that, I thought of three or four. That's sad. But as I did it every day as part of my ritual and exercise, I started being able to list more. And I would put, like, I love my eyes. And then people would say, you have the most beautiful eyes. And i go, thank you for noticing. I didn't say, well, I wrote that down this morning, right? So you don't say um, thank you. You say thank, <laughs> thank you, you for, for noticing. noticing. I really feel it, right? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is that um, to join a woman's group or to expose yourself to classes or art or get out of it. You know, they say a fish can only grow to the aquarium that you're in. So it's important to expose yourself to new things so that new people can know you differently and see you differently and notice things that are important for you. Very important for women because we are incredible. No, we are, we are more than incredible. We are incredible, <laughs> awesome, incredible. Uh, yes. You are reaching women in so many ways. You you have a radio show? Have a radio show, Unity. FM. Awesome. I have a book out, um, and it, everything is on the website, templehaze.org. So I'd love to hear from our audience. And tell me about this. This I designed because one of the key issues with women is speaking. You know, first impression, first seven seconds, it's everything. So I created this program for all people to learn how to present themselves with a way of confidence and power. So it's great material. It's a DVD set and a workbook. I love it. And I love you. And as my Thank mama you. used to say, when you look in the mirror, love what you see. <laughs> Thank you so much, Temple. It's nice being here. I really appreciate Thank your you. time. And if you're ready to transform your self-esteem and become empowered or to learn more about Temple Hayes, just visit her website and it's templehaze.org.